The other area of, uh, I think, that was quite uh, surprising overall, again, we had a press release that predated the meeting, uh, was the benefits of inhibiting uh, mTOR uh, with, uh, in uh, patients who uh, have hormone receptor positive but hormone resistant disease. Uh, and uh, we saw two trials at this meeting. Uh, one is a trial that used a serolimus, a generic version of serolimus with tamoxifen, two categories, 400 patients in India that showed really an almost unbelievable benefit from the serolimus. This hasn't been independently confirmed. Certainly the investigators are uh, seasoned investigators and, uh, but, and the drugs were tested, but they were both generic versions. Uh, dramatic improvement in response and uh, improvement in PFS, regardless of whether patients had been exposed to prior hormone therapy or not in the metastatic setting. Um, the Bolero 2 trial data was the press release, and that showed that the addition of the mTOR inhibitor Everolimus to exemestane as second line hormone therapy for metastatic hormone receptor positive breast cancer dramatically improved progression free survival. The endpoint was PFS investigator determined that was way met the men end point, more than doubling PFS, which is very encouraging given the very small differences we've seen in recent positive trials. But encouragingly, the independent evaluation showed even better results than the investigators themselves. So uh, quite encouraging. We know that these drugs cause toxicity. Uh, stomatitis can be an issue, but there was only an 8% rate of grade 3 stomatitis. And I think uh, early holds and dose reductions manage that quite well, certainly in our experience. I serve on the steering committee of Bolero too. There are ongoing trials looking at Bolero, at looking at uh, Everolimus to reverse resistance to HER2 directed therapy. Again, a lot of competition in that area, but the trials are Bolero 1 in the first line setting and Bolero 2 and 3 in the second line setting.